Hey Leo, welcome to your weekend read. This will be from the 21st until the 23rd of January. This is a new spread that we're bringing back, um, but I've made some tweaks to it. So if you want this to continue, make sure that you do hit the like button. Also uh, comment, subscribe, hit the notification button so you don't miss any of the messages that are for you. Um, if you feel like you need a personal reading, you can find all of those details, including how to reach me down in the description box below. Uh, the 2022 year ahead love readings, look into love, year ahead, yeah, year ahead love readings, I've got what I called them. Uh, they're still available until the 26th of January. So make sure if you're interested in that, check out what's going on down in the description box below. We're going to look at past, present and future in your love situation. We'll take some blockages, delays and challenges that might be presenting themselves this weekend and then we'll finish off with some advice. So let's get all started. Let's see what that has to say. We won't take them. King of Cups. Oh, okay. So it does look like someone may be coming in or deciding what they want in love um, and what, what kind of... Um, what what's up, how they can grow what they're going to grow with what's going to give them long term there's a card in here what's going to give them long term happiness with that empress in reverse all right let's have a look past please for leo re most recent past for leo oh oh okay you've been thinking a lot about something um leo you've been contemplating reflecting you may be ha you may be um, have gone on a break with someone in the most recent past and that can be uh, you know any time before now, right this moment. Um, so let's take a bit more of a look. What's happening in the present for Leo's love situation, please, for this weekend. Okay. Leo, that, that does look like your card sitting up there with the King of Wands. Um, you're kind of in your power. You're sitting on your throne. Yeah, okay. But you're thinking about going back around to a situation. Um, yeah, so you're looking, reflecting, thinking, there's a lot of thinking energy here, working out, okay, am I going to go back? Am I going to go back around in this situation with the wheel of fortune in reverse? Have I had misfortune? This is the other thing this card represents. You may be reflecting on why um, misfortune has occurred in your life or why things haven't gone right in your love life. Give me one more, please, for future. Oh, the cards are flying out. Oh, what have we got here? Okay, yeah. It does look like you, someone feels like they've missed an opportunity here. So whether that's you feeling like you've missed an opportunity because you're showing up in the reading as you, um, with the four of cups in reverse, it's like a missed opportunity. But then followed by the three of pentacles, it's like I want to start again. I want to rebuild. I want to start from scratch um, rebuilding foundations, working together with someone. Tell me more about that three of pentacles. So you may be reflecting on what's gone wrong in a relationship in the past, um, that you may be currently on a break yet because it's causing you a lot of stress and anxiety. So it looks like you've, re you've been reflecting and thinking, and particularly if it's someone that you're currently on a break with about how things haven't gone the way that you wanted them to, or how, things haven't really um, gone well. Um, and I think with the Wheel of Fortune sitting on you, you're actually looking at, okay, what have I done in this situation? Because it feels to me like you feel very stressed out about this. Like maybe there was a missed opportunity. Maybe it's worth in, engaging and rebuilding this situation with the three of pentacles and coming together as a team. Now the three of pentacles is also my friendship card. So you may feel like you've missed out on a friendship or your friendships have been compromised here. Tell me more about that wheel of fortune in reverse, please. Yeah. Okay. There may have been the discovery of a third party or more than one person in the relationship. Um, with the three of cups here. Um, I think also you're thinking about what truly makes you happy. Like I said, there was that coming out in the very beginning of the reading where there was some indication that maybe you were looking at what really is going to make you happy long term with that queen of pentacles in reverse. Um, tell me about the four of swords. I'll take two. Yeah, making decisions. You're reflecting and on a decision that you've made. One more. Yeah, that actually didn't bring you wish fulfillment. So you may have made, I feel like maybe you've made a decision that didn't go the way you thought it was going to go or 
didn't really truly make you happy with the nine of cups in reverse you knew that it wasn't going it's almost like when you made this decision it actually moved you further away from your wish fulfillment with the nine of cups in reverse rather than towards what you wanted um, and now there's this feeling of oh what have I what have I done here because I've missed this opportunity um, let's have a look at the challenges blockages delays and challenges for Leo for this weekend please so I do see in the near future um, that there is going to be some reflection because of this stress and anxiety of feeling like maybe you've missed out, um, that you've missed out on this opportunity. Now remember, these are short, sharp readings. So if you want these to continue for the weekends, by all means, please hit the like button. That's the only way I can gauge whether or not you like the readings. Um, and want them to continue. We'll continue with the normal weekly readings anyway, but I just thought we'd add these into the mix. One more. Blockages, delays and challenges. Mm. Okay. You may be struggling. This showed up again. This was also in reverse. Two nine of wands in reverse. <sighs> this situation is taking a lot out of you, Leo. Um, you've got here with the... With the um, justice card in reverse something that's out of balance something where one or the other of you feels like you've been wronged and it's dragging this out it's like there's a refusal to change behavior here and this is why I think you're reflecting on what's happened in terms of and and understanding that um, you know, there may be changes needed on both sides. The other blockage, delay and challenge that you have, which is showing up as a challenge, is attention. You may be getting attention from other people or you may be seeing your person getting attention from other people. That's why it's showing up as a challenge with the Six of Wands. We also have the Nine of Cups in reverse. Sorry, the Eight of Cups in reverse. I don't know why I said that. I have the Nine over here. Um, indicating that there's still a lot of emotion in this situation. You're still energetically tied to this person um, and while you might be in separation it's hard to cut that emotional tie um, particularly if some of this stuff's going on with justice in reverse and uh, the death card uh, on the table we have Libra um, uh, Scorpio Aries Leo Sagittarius and that's, there's a lot of cup energy here as well. Let's see what we've got for your advice. What's Leo's advice for the situation this weekend? Taking three. What's Leo's advice? Don't forget, if you need a personal reading, you can find all of those details down in the description box below. I can't remember if I already said that. Sorry if I did. Okay. Your advice is to communicate clearly. Yep, there we go. There's that Empress showing up. Decide what you want to nurture and what you want your long-term future to look like and then communicate that. Make it very clear when you're having these discussions about where, how you want to grow. What does it look like in the future? What do you want from a situation? One more. Yeah, use, use that reflection time that you've been um, doing. Use that break that you've kind of had to look back and reflect and kind of identify okay well this is where I may have gone wrong this is where the other person may have gone wrong and use that as the basis for your communication so that you can plant the seed and grow what you want to grow see how she's got all this wheat here it's about harvesting it's about planting the seed growing nurturing looking after something so that it can grow the way that you want it to grow um, if you don't water your plants then they are going to wilt uh, and die it's the same sort of thing in this situation you need to do do some watering um, but it's also talking about well what do I what crops am I growing because if you're not clear on what it is you want out of a situation or where you want a situation to go then um, you're not going to get any success so use that reflection time to um, gain some insight and then use that as your basis for communication and how and what you're going to say um, to your person all right, Leo, that's what I've got for you this weekend. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. If you like these readings and you want them to continue in addition to the weekly readings, make sure that you do hit the like button so I know to continue them. Otherwise, have a great weekend and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.